Welcome back everybody, I'm Vince Del Monte and we're gonna be talking about muscle loss today. This is from um, Romeo. Romeo wants to know, is it true that if you stop working out in the gym for a couple of years, you'll lose the muscle you earn? True or false? This is absolutely true and it'll take much, uh, it'll, go, it'll happen much faster than a few years. And for those of you guys who watch my videos, I think I'm a perfect example of this. For those who don't know, on March 19th, I had elbow surgery. I can't train for 12 weeks. Um, at the point that you're watching this video, it's hard to say, but it's probably going to be around six or seven. Uh, at the time I'm filming this video, it's literally four weeks today since my surgery. So for those, I mean, I got a mirror here, but f most of you guys have probably noticed that I've got smaller, not dramatically, but I certainly have got smaller. I mean, I've certainly noticed a difference in my arms. Um, and it's, it's, it's the muscles that have been my slow to grow muscles that have, um, got smaller much faster. The, the one thing that's been surprising, I'm surprising how small my legs have got. I thought that my legs wouldn't get as small because I, I thought they were one of my more genetically gifted body parts, but there you go, I'm learning something myself. So through this experience. Okay, I'll give you guys a really helpful analogy. So basically your muscles are like a balloon, all right? The latex of the balloon is basically the muscle fibers. The fluid within the balloon is the water, the, 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 fluid, the fluid that's stored within the muscles, okay? So when your muscles are volumized, when there's a lot of fluid within that muscle, the balloon is bigger, it's fuller. You look uh, essentially just larger. All right. When you don't train, essentially, uh, your bot, your muscles don't store as much water. Okay. So that balloon gets smaller and you look physically smaller, but you're not really losing muscle. All right. It's just that that balloon has gone from a little balloon. Like uh, it's gone from a, an inflated big balloon to a small balloon. So the good news for you guys is that if you were big to begin with before you stopped training, if you had a lot of muscle on your body prior to training, what you've done is you've already pre-stretched that fascia that surrounds the muscle. Okay, this is really, really encouraging to know because you'll hear a lot of people say, oh, don't worry, muscle memory. And it's very true, but I don't think people understand the mechanism behind muscle memory. The reason that people return back to the gym and you'll see their gains come back really quickly is because that muscle, that, that fascia has already been pre-stretched so it can stretch again. And one of the big reasons people can't progress their gains is because uh, the, the tightness of the fascia hasn't, you're asking it to be stretched to a point where it's never been stretched before. So you're working against that resistance. So when it's already been pre-stretched, it's like blowing up a balloon this big and then letting it deflate. It's easy to get it to this, the same size again, but it's harder to get it even bigger because it's never been stretched that far. So that's how muscle memory works. And that's why if you take a long layoff from training, if you get injured or you go on vacation, you'll notice that you come back very quickly. But once you get to the point where you're the same size as you were before you took the layoff, you'll notice that your rate of progress goes back to normal. All right, but those initial gains are exciting, they're fast, they come quick, and uh, it's something to certainly look forward to as, as am I when I can get back into the gym. And, and I'll uh, prove that to you guys with pictures. So stay tuned and um, I hope that helps you guys understand the concept of muscle memory. And just think of the balloon analogy and I look forward to doing this again with you soon. Take care. You're getting less fluid. Sorry, sir, let me do that again. So let me go from there. The um, pliableness—it's—it's—it's—it's it's, it's, it's flexibility. Let me explain that again.